Hi, welcome again to this tutorial for starters in AutoCAD. In this video I will show you a very basic tool that will help us to draw with precision. It's the object snap. In the screen you can see these lines that you may know how to draw if you have followed these tutorials from the beginning. So I'm going to activate the command line and if I drag the pointer through the lines you can see these green symbols appearing there. These points are from the object snap and they help me to draw with precision. For example, this square indicates an endpoint of one of the lines. If I click here, the start point of the new line will be precisely from the corner. Now, I will show you what happens when I have the object snap off. So I will try to draw a line from this corner And now if I zoom in, you can see that there is a gap. These things can make your drafting imprecise and for large projects, the objects may not match. Now I am going to show you how to choose the object snap points. We have to type O snap to open the settings. Here I can activate the modes that I need. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use some of them. I will start with the endpoint. As I showed you before, it appears in the extremities of the lines and arcs. The midpoint is useful when you want to draw from the middle of an object. The center only applies for circles and ellipses. And to detect this point, you have to touch the border of the circle without clicking. For the ellipse is the same. The intersection is obviously when you want to detect the point of intersection of two lines. The extension appears for example when you click on an endpoint and you drag the pointer in the same direction of your line. Now the perpendicular. This is a little bit tricky. I'm going to draw a line from here. And now I have to touch the line that I want to assume as my reference. I drag the mouse to find the perpendicular line. So here it is. I can just type the length to draw it. Now I want to draw a line from the same point to the perpendicular intersection of this line I highlight here. When I drag the new line towards the line I highlighted, I find this sign that indicates the perpendicular point of my future intersection. I click there and I have my new line orthogonal with this another. Parallel mode. If you want to draw a parallel line, just click here for example drag the mouse over the line I want to make it parallel to detect it. Ok, one last thing I want to explain in this video is the object snap tracking. This is really useful. If I want to put the first point of a new line at 50 mm to the right from another, I will touch the end point of my line and drag slowly to the right. I will type 50 to insert the first point of the new line. So, here it is. Of course, I can do the same to another direction. Now I will show you to the left side. This time I will insert a distance of 100 and I can draw this line here. One last thing about the object snap. I recommend you to only activate the modes you are going to use in the project. Because if you activate everything, this can be a bit confusing sometimes, with the green signs appearing everywhere. So it's all from my side, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Of course, if you are happy with these videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you later guys!